Hey singers, did you know that you have at least four different belting sounds you can use so you don't have to stay with your one unique voice, you have at least four. Give me the next five minutes to tell you about those four different sounds and actually you have them all in you, just need to recreate them. Um, if you want to know how to sing high powerful songs without straining your voice, drop me a line in the comments. I'm going to reach out and give you a free step-by-step -step guide. For those who don't know me, my name is Anna G. I'm a singing teacher with 18, 19 years of teaching experience. And I'm also the owner of crybabysingingmethod.com. Now, give me the next five minutes. I'm going to introduce these four belting sounds that you also have because we used them as a child already and we just need to recreate them, okay? Let's go back to the days when we were babies. Then we used all voice sounds we have because we didn't think about it, it was all there. And we used it because we had certain emotions and we let them out. So the first, first belting sound, I call it the baby sigh because it's when it's like a soft, clean, um, not that loud sound. It's like an angel singing in a Catholic church choir. And I call it the baby sigh because I think about a baby who's happy with the world and it just lays in the bed and it just sighs. Oh. Oh. This is like the sound is, like a soft sound. If I would sing with that sound, that would be like this. pop and musical and jazz and it's yeah for high notes which you don't want to use to sing in head voice because head voice would be too weak okay you can just use the baby sigh the next sound is the baby whine and i call it like that because it's like as if you would, would be crying as if you were crying you know and would hold back some tears it was like when we were babies we had a stomach ache it hurt and we were like, oh, oh, it was not a great big stomach ache, just like a little. So we just, oh, we were not in such a good mood because of it. Okay, we go like, oh, and this is a sound you hold your, sound, your voice back. It's used in R&B, most of all. And if I would sing with that sound, it would sound like this. to the next sound the third one this is the loud belting sound it was when we were babies and we needed some food we were hungry we had to let the people around us know that we are hungry we need food to survive so we had to choose a loud sound people had to hear us we needed to survive you know so i call it the baby shout because it's like a shout it's loud it's open it's warm and if I would sing in Baby Shout, which is also some punk, in rock, and soul, in many, many pop songs nowadays, it would sound like this. Please stay, I want you, I need you, oh God, don't take these beautiful things that I've got. Okay, so loud and open. So, and the fourth sound, it's a very sharp sound because that was when we were babies and our teeth were growing and it was very, very painful. And we had to express that pain with a scream. We screamed, you are very, very loud. That's why I call it the baby scream, okay? It's used in country, in rock and funk sometimes, uh, so much, and for really the high notes which you want to sing with power, okay? And it would sound like that, if I will use the baby scream in that song. Please stay, I want you, I need you, oh God. Don't take these beautiful things that I've got. Okay, so 
this is very sharp and clean and direct and loud. And the thing is, you have all of these sounds in your voice. You can use them all just to recreate them. It's not that you only have one unique voice. We all have a unique voice color, but we have all at least these four belting sounds we can use mixed with the color. And that's how you are a unique singer. Everyone's unique because every voice is unique. But now you know that you can sing a song in four different belting sounds. You can recreate them, you can choose, you can be creative with it. If you want to know how to sing powerful high notes without straining your voice, then drop me a line in the comments. I'm going to reach out and give you a free step-by-step -step guide.